Good part, and um, you know, in my jigsaw puzzle concept, one of those 12 stories of that story. Janet Falk wanted to ask about 504 Main Street, which has been touched on, but I'm sure you'd like to expand on that. I'm Janet Falk. I'm executive director of the Roosevelt Island Community Literary Associates. Those of you who were here 30 years ago know that RIPLA was founded in order to create a volunteer library which operated for many years in the basement of Westview, and it was a very happy day when the agreement was negotiated between the New York Public Library and RIPLA, and the space was located on Main Street, and so the books came out of the basement and were marched in a long parade down Main Street and located in the center of town. And we're so excited at Rick Lang here in the community to know, after my conversation with Andrew Jackson yesterday and your comments today, that you have in mind using the first floor of 504 Main Street as a new and happy home for a state-of-the-art, wheelchair-accessible library that will be an opening gateway to our revitalized Main Street community. Thank you. Now, of course, we all know what we do in the library. We surf the internet, and we do research, and we do our homework after school, and we have Lapsit Read Aloud where people can bring their young children to be exposed to the sound and music of reading. And so we're very excited to know that more space will become available on the first floor of 504. But my question is the second floor of 504. What possibly could be compatible with the quiet and study and small group meetings that are going to be held on the first floor of our library. Now, I mentioned to Andrew Jackson that I didn't think a dance studio, not that Main Street Theater and Dance Alliance wants to move, but I didn't think that a dance studio was the appropriate new tenant, and he agreed that the bowling alley was a bad idea as well. Um, and so I would like to know what is going to be your view for a few desirable possible tenants for the second floor of 504 Main Street. Many in our community think that we would like to have a community access room where we could have meetings and gatherings. As it is now, most of our community meetings are held occasionally here, often in the basement of this building, and so we are desirous of a more accommodating space and want to hear your vision of what will be appropriate use of the second floor of 504. Thank you very much. Um, a free community room is not, is not on my list currently. Um, when we first started thinking about it, actually I had an idea of green desk space. You know, in the new economy with so many freelancers and people working from their homes. <coughs> the idea of a um, bullet pen slash private offices, executive suites, I thought would be great here. Um, where you could rent a cubicle, you could rent a private office, you could um, uh, pay extra to reserve a conference room. You know, that, that's sort of where I started. Then we got approached by the child school, and they, they're interested in space. <coughs> We've been approached by the Islamic Society, uh, because they don't have a, a, a place of worship. Um, I thought that an obvious solution for Gallery Riva, um, and I was amused when I saw the, the banner saying street level, is that, is that to have a wheelchair accessible a second floor space, second floor space is less valuable than first floor space. Art galleries are on upper floors all over the world because art galleries typically don't pay for... <laughs> <laughs> what are the uh, Galleries typically don't have the same economics to pay for ground floor retail space. And folks, that's a reality. Um, so, we have a lot of ideas uh, for 504. Um, and uh, nothing is uh, etched in stone, and we don't have to deal with the library yet, but 
you know, so maybe 514 <coughs> is more of an office city, non-profit type space. I mean, the second floor is obviously not going to be retail. Um, and so, you know, some, some version of what I just summarized. Just that being said, that is now in 504. Uh, the, what about the youth center that's now in 504? The part of the 504 that's the youth center is not part of our scope. We've been here just about two hours, and I'm thinking that if we take